Hello again, uh, another unbagging of one of the recent uh, purchases. Cabra Rifles, Britannia in Afghanistan. Another one of the decision games, um, simple rule sets with just a few counters. Uh, a small map, 11 by 17 inch footprint, 40 counters. Uh, the usual affair, let you, uh, I'll zoom in so you can, you can see the map and you can also pause it and read it at your uh, leisure then. Um, again, a period I'm interested in, uh, who, who wouldn't be? Um, the Northwest Frontier at that time. Um, and Afghanistan, let's face it, <laughs> it's never really been out of the news since then, has it? Um, so this should be an interesting game. Once again, I'll uh, unbag it. Tip it all up. map. Come on, you know you want to come out. And of course, the counter. Let's the back empty. Let's start with the counter scene there on top. Put the right way up now, lad. Right. So, uh, right, so there's our counter. Oh, wait, I see. Yeah, they've got some up and some upside down. That's fine. So we've got, obviously we've got British and we've got the Afghan various values on them. Straightforward counters really. Uh, markers on the back of course. Just to, uh, again I assume for fog or war I'm not 100% certain. So there, that's the counter sheet again, just 40 counters. We've got some cards again. It will be the usual 18 cards. It seems to be standard fare for these games. So we'll uh, big them out. Now these are the same. No difference on these, and I think, except they've got different colours. Different colours borders on the front, so you can see what we've got there. The usual, uh, the usual pack drill. So nothing new, and there's of course there's nine for each again. Put them to one side. Let's have a look at the map. Okay, again there's a baggie to keep the counters, and you only need one baggie to be fair because the counters are so few. Alright, it's come out a bit so you can see the map in its glory. Right, well, I'll come back in again now so you can see at the top because there's all the information up at the top there. So we've got the train record track, terrain effects chart, and obviously a key to the terrain, various boxes there, uh, British recruits, British. What's that? Dead pile. Well, that sounds good. Afghan dead pile and Afghan recruits down at the bottom. And as you can see, the map is point to point. There's mountains on there. I'm assuming these with a with a green with a square. Now I presume they're forts. Oh, it'll tell me where in the key one. Here. Have a look, Death Lad. Yeah, it is a fort. So they're forts. We've got Afghanistan, and then we've got the border there with uh, the Punjab and Baluchistan. And it comes out, so that's a fair old sized uh, map, and it covers a fair old area. Again, that should be interesting. Looking forward to uh, getting this to the table. It, you could play straight on this, to be fair. It, 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 it's, it's laying reasonably flat, but I will put some uh, perspex or plexi, as you like to call it, across the pond on top, just to make sure it's all uh, it's all you know all laying flat. And then we've got the rolls. We've got the uh, 
scenario goes for the carbine rifles, and this is just one sheet. Literally, one side of one sheet is the rules. They're the rules specific for this, but you do get, because this is part of the series, the Hand of Destiny system rules. This is a little bit more. This will cover all the um, the games in this Hand of Destiny rule system. I don't know if I've got any more Hand of Destiny, so I'll have to find out as we work my way through them. So this is a little bit more substantial. Not particularly. It's only four pages. Again, lovely big font for my old eyes. It's not crammed together. Nicely spaced out. Nicely headed. We've got our numbers as well when it's broken down into sections. All, all good stuff. And, yeah, I thought you can convolt it. So, that is an unbagging of Kaaba Rifles, Britannia in Afghanistan. Minutes to learn, quick to play, historically accurate. Well, we'll find out. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye for now.